Good morning. Today I want to talk about personal responsibility because when we take personal responsibility in our life it really can make us feel empowered and we can really own what we do and it's a really important thing in personal development that we understand how these things work. So I've got three tips for you. So it's about being in control or not in control of your life by believing that there's something greater than you that is making things happen to you or realizing that you are in control of your life and you can navigate and you can own your part in your life. So we can go through our life saying, no, it's not my fault this happened because he did that or this happened because she did that and you if you're always doing that you're always choosing to give your power to others rather than looking at your action so my first tip is to own the role that you play in your life so whatever happens whoever you are talking to whoever you are associating with they're always is that takes two it takes two to tango you know that saying um, so always notice your part in the interaction always notice the energy that you put into each interaction where does that energy come from are you interacting from a place of anger are you interacting from a place of frustration are you interacting from a place of love because that really can give you an indicator of what your role is playing you know where, where you are what role you are playing in this scenario and the second tip would be to notice the cause and effect do you know about the law of cause and effect if not look it up it means if if you're looking at an event or it takes one event to make something else happen so for instance if a baby's crying because of a really loud noise the cause of the the cause of the um sorry the cause is the loud noise and crying would be the effect so because there was a loud noise the baby then cries so if you're a woman in business and you're feeling inferior because of the culture of the business so the culture is the cause and the woman feeling inferior is the effect. Um, maybe an employee is late because the manager never pulls them up, never says anything. And so the manager not addressing the issue is the cause and the employee being late is the effect. So I wonder if you can think about some situations that might have happened in your life where you can pinpoint the cause and the effect and if there are please write them in the comments below whether you're live or uh, with me live or whether you are watching this later I'd love to discuss this with you or help you out if you um, you can't quite see that yet so remember there's always a cause and there's always effect so when we are owning the role that we play we realize that we can be part of the cause or part of the effect and then the third tip would be to problem solve, to be able to resolve problems, to be able to critical think, to take the initiative and discuss the problems before they happen, to have the foresight to see what's coming, to be able to change your process, to be able to creative think. These are all problem solving ways of being and then once we can see what's going to happen because of cause and effect we know that we're going to do something and we also know the, the other person is going to do something also so what do you think if you if you're coming at somebody from a place of anger and you're at cause and you're having a go at somebody what do you think the effect will be but if you're coming at somebody with from a place of love the effect would probably be different. So when we own our, the role that we play 
and we keep in mind the cause and the effect and we can take the initiative and problem solve. Our life can feel so much better. We can start feeling empowered. We can start feeling in control because we realize then that, that whatever happens around us, we have a choice to react in a certain way. We can choose to come from a place of anger or a place of love. We can choose how we feel in the moment as well. So we can choose to go through life and and go through it in a in a calm, I guess calculated way. You know, we can't calculate everyone, we can't calculate everyone's reactions around us. But when we can look at life like this, we can see a lot more than somebody who is just walking around blaming other people. Because those people that just blame other people have no power. They are giving their power away. So I hope this makes sense to you. I hope you like my three tips. This is a short video. So the first tip would be own the role that you play. The second tip would be no cause and effect and know where you're at in that. And three, be able to problem solve, use critical thinking so that you can change the process. So I hope that helps. If you need any tips on that, if you need any help with that, if you have an area in your life where you're feeling a bit stuck right now, please reach out to me and we can do some work on this. Thank you for being here today and goodbye for now.